Um, good morning, all. Uh, I know that we uh, last class we discussed about the replenishment. Okay, but more we discussed about the uh, business scenarios and I explained to you entire configuration last time, what we are going to do that. And um, what we have discussed last uh, last class, like, you know, what is the replenishment? And as I said, is a replenishment is a... Don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to update yourself with latest SAP videos. Replenish the uh, stock from the reserve area to the any picking areas, any pickable locations. Okay. As I said, we have a five um, uh, type of uh, replenishments. One is a planned replenishment order and creative. These are all planned replenishment. It can be run either bad job or it can be run even any, any time you wish. Whereas the direct replenishment and automatic replenishment, it, it falls under the unplanned um, uh, replenishment task because this is not a planned. A direct replenishment, it happens, you know, when a picker goes to the location where uh, he sees that there is not enough stock. So you can trigger um, uh, um, um, replenishment using the exception code, okay? Majority for a during outbound picking activities time, you know, you can trigger that. Whereas the automatic replenishment, it's also uh, this outbound scenario case where picker, um, as soon as the picker confirms the, uh, picks the quantity, then system checks that bin, okay? It, if it is a false bin of certain level, automatically system generate the replenishment warehouse task and uh, those warehouse tasks you know so somebody you know there is a dedicated resource as i said replenishment is a big task uh, like uh, inventory is of course of course it's all internal process but there is a dedicated team is there minimum one or two guys will work on replenishment in terms of operational wise i'm talking about at least one or two people will be there and there is even dedicated super mayor, supervisor is also there sometime. <clears throat> it is a very big warehouse, can't manage it. So all the replenishment warehouse tasks will be assigned to the dedicated resource. So one or two people, they will, they will, their job is just uh, move the stock from the reserve area to the uh, replenished locations. Okay. And uh, one is, uh, I said, okay, direct, uh, we explained, auto, we explained, planned replenishment, I said, planned, it happens. Uh, based on the your uh, fixed bin concepts or minimum max quantity that's where we need to maintain and um, so planned means as i said is again is a, we can go for batch or else uh, anytime you wish to run it so if you made the, the here where you need to maintain master data like you know the particular product where should go then that product should be maintained as a fixed bin okay the what is the minimum maximum quantity and using a bin mat, we can maintain the fixed bin concept, okay? And order related, as I said, is order related. System computes the, uh, when, when, when you create an outbound delivery, system checks the what are the quantities required for that outbound delivery. Then system always checks the, where the stock is lying in the warehouse bins and it checks that what is the quantity required, what is the quantity, available quantity in the system. And if it's a, is not meeting that the system generates the um, replenishment and then dedicated resource will move from uh, reserve area to the the, the respective uh, order related uh, pickable bin. Credit part replenishment is a more or less uh, it's related to the um, um, production where it, it supplies to the fixed quantity either pallets or something irrespective of the uh, like you know the requirement is there. Okay, it it it, it um, uh, generates the various stuff. It's a fixed quantity, either pallets or anything. Okay, this is the where we discussed. And um, last time I given more information. If you have uh, get a chance, just to go through that. As I said, we have a five. It's a divided into planned and unplanned one. Okay, is a planned means is a is a based on your, uh, whenever you wish you can do that. And unplanned is a direct and automatic direct through the exception code, automatic, as soon as the picker picks the quantity and it's remaining, uh, that, that particular bin, you know, system checks that, the minimum, uh, 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 whether we have enough stock or not, okay? And uh, the major configuration steps we need for replenishment is, first, we need to be created as a 
warehouse process type. As you know that the movements, any movement of the stock, we need to have a warehouse process type. That's not the fundamental thing we discussed in a AWM, right? Any movement, the product is moving means definitely there should be some warehouse process. Okay, so we are going to create a warehouse process type. Uh, maybe I can say that, you know, the tip standard one is a 3010 and or you can go the development, whatever name you wish, you can do that. We will create two, two warehouse process type. One is for the planned um, direct one and the another one is the automatic one. Okay, uh, but we will we'll do today is a planned one. Okay, and the next one is you need to activate the replenishment, that's storage type level. Okay, that means if at all replenishment to trigger, there is a fixed bin concept is required. So at this storage type level, you need to enable the fixed bin uh, concept. And also there is a replenishment uh, uh, option is there where you want to trigger or you want to trigger replenishment entire storage type of the bins or only the particular bin level. So the replenishment can be either at the storage type or the bin level, okay? So we will, we will go for the bin level. Bin level means there is no to select, but storage type, you need to enable that, okay? That is a, a storage type level, we need to activate that, okay? And also we need a stock removal strategies is important. So again, we will, uh, uh, where you are, where system is proposing the stock and uh, so that the particular uh, stock removal strategy, we will look into that, okay? Again, the uh, search sequence. And the stock removal strategy is what basis you want to pick it, whether you want to pick it the full pallet quantity or you wanted to pick the smaller quantity first. So the such a strategy, we can we can look into that one. Okay. And also uh, maintain replenishment level and storage type. That's what I just said, like, you know, uh, you need to maintain at the storage type some of the replenishment parameters. Okay. And... Um, and also resource management queue, as I said, we need to maintain dedicated resource for the queue management so that when um, an operation guy log into the RF gun with a queue, so the system will propose uh, all the replenishment warehouse tasks. And also activity area plays a major role. You know that uh, how significant the activity area in the blimp system, okay? Because you can group uh, certain uh, bins or like uh, entire storage type bins as an activity as a replenishment and then these those bins are uh, helpful for replenish the uh, I mean to pick the uh, uh, stock from the uh, for the replenishment of the other bins okay reserve area main uh, area where we need to that particular uh, don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to update yourself with latest SAP video either you want to go for our case a WPR. So whether you want to be, everything will be all been solved. Uh, you, are you are considering a replenishment, then you can consider that that particular bin as a replenishment. And then you do bin sorting for that. Without uh, activity area, it won't work, okay? Again, we need to create order creation rule. I know that is not here, but we need to create order creation rule. But it may not be like, you know, uh, when we need not to specify any pack profile, like, you know, pick profile, we don't need, and you don't need even uh, um, the storage type, storage process also, because it's not a complex uh, process. So bare minimum requirement is a warehouse order creation rule required, where you can control, like, you know, some kind of filters for that, okay? Filters, like, you know, whether you want to be full pallet or, some, uh, or small quantity, some filters we will maintain, okay? But these, then you do, you make question is, where you want to assign this order creation rule, because you